Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. This is Garrett. I'm going to teach you today beginner keys for worship. So I always tell people who are starting to learn music, piano is the best place to start. It gives you a great foundation for music in general. So once you know piano, it's way easier to jump into other instruments like guitar, bass, even drums and other stuff. Now today I want to talk about the foundation of beginner keys. Everything I teach on the keys, I start with scales. Scales can be boring, but they are extremely crucial to understanding music and I'm gonna be talking about the number system that's basically built off of a scale. Scales create keys, scales create all the music that sounds good to our ears are based on scales. Now, you guys probably know what a scale sounds like. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Okay, you guys know. Uh, the piano might be a little quiet, but you should be able to hear. Okay, that's a scale. Eight notes. The first and last note are just an octave away from each other. So now I'll teach you the pattern of scales. Scales are built on half steps and whole steps. So I'll show you right here real quick. A scale, you start on your first note, then you go up a whole note, whole note, half note, whole note, whole note, whole note, half note. And that's the end of your scale. Two whole notes, half note, three whole notes, half note. Now. Sorry, I keep saying notes, it's step. Wherever you start, so I'm starting right there, I started on C, so that middle C is where I started, and now I'm going up, one whole note, uh, one whole note, one half note, one whole note, whole note, whole note, half note. I started on C, uh, C is my key. So I'm in the key of C, and that scale, those are all the notes that sound good in the key. So uh, you'll notice for key of C, they're all white keys. So any of the white keys all across, the keyboard are gonna sound okay together because they're all in the same key. Now once we get to other keys besides C, that's not the case because if we were to move to key of D, now we have two of those black notes and so it would start to sound off. We have to hit those black notes every time we're moving to that part. What are whole steps and half steps? A half step is any space between the keys. So we'll start on the C. Uh, up to this is a half step, half step, half step, half step, half step, half step, half step. Okay, so all the spaces between are all half steps. And then a whole step is literally just two half steps. So from here to here is a whole step. From here to here is a half step. Okay, so that's the idea of a whole step, half step. We'll build our scale using that pattern I showed you, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, to build our scale. So let's say we wanna make key of E, we're gonna do a scale on the key of E. We're gonna start at E, and we're gonna go a whole note up, which is two half steps, okay? And then we're gonna go two more half steps up, then one half step, two half steps, two half steps, two half steps, and one half step to finish it off. Now, you'll notice uh, whenever I do a half step, I transition with my thumb. So, whole step, whole step, and to do a half step, I move my thumb over there. All right, now we can do the same thing if we were to find another key, let's say key of G. You start here, down here, wherever you want. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. All right, so that's the basic idea of scales. That takes a little bit of getting used to, so practice scales for a bit. Try to find random notes, just random starting notes, and build the scale till you get used to the pattern, used to your fingers doing it, and then from there, we're gonna add a new thing. I'm gonna start assigning numbers to the notes. So with key of C, we did the scale. Now I could number all of those notes, one through seven. One is our starting note, so C is our one. And then we go up a whole step to our two, whole step to our three, half step to our four, whole step to our five, whole step to our six, whole step to our seven, half step to our one. Okay, and then the scale starts over so you can go up again if you want, or back down. Okay, so now we have numbers for all of those. And I have another graph here that shows the numbers one through one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, and then whole steps and half steps in between. So now, when you guys do your scales, keep picking random notes, so we'll start on D, and start to say the number as you play. So we're starting on D, and we're gonna go up a whole note. So D is our one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. 
and then we'll go back down. One, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay? Do that with a few different ones. Let's do it again. A, one. A is our one. We go up a whole step, two, up a whole step for our three, up a half step to our four, whole step to our five, whole step to a six, whole step to a seven, half step to a one. Okay? And then back down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep watching the pattern uh, that I show you. Feel free to write that down in a notebook because that'll help as you're building your scales. Make sure, just write it down and you can do it with the numbers there so that you know. You start on your one, whatever note you start on, that's always gonna be your one. And then you move up to seven and technically up all the way to one. Once you've got that down, you have a great start to keys. We'll go more in depth into creating chords and starting to play a little bit more in our next video, but get the foundation of scales first because scales is what everything else is built on. So, the, so lay a really solid foundation. Get to know your scales. You can start on any note and you can create your scale and you can number them all up and down. I love saying the number out loud as I do my scales because that helps your mind start associating what you're playing uh, with what you're thinking. It helps your ear get better. You start to understand what the numbers mean. A lot of it's happening subconsciously, so you might not feel like anything's really changing with your number association to the notes and stuff, but it is starting to do stuff, so just make sure to say the numbers out loud as you're playing the scales once you get to that point. The only other advice I would give you, pull out a metronome. I tell everyone who does any instruments to use a metronome because it helps your timing. Everyone needs to work on timing and get better at timing, so Put a metronome on. I use a pro metronome app that's free on iPhone. I don't know about Android. And then just put it next to your piano. It's slow at like 60 beats a minute and just play along to it. So once you get a scale down, do your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and play along with it, and you can slowly speed it up a little bit if you want to. Keep it slow at first to get your timing good, um, to start thinking through how you're playing with timing, with the beat, and that will help you a lot down the road. All right, great. That's all I've got for this lesson. Make sure to practice it, practice it a bunch. I would spend probably a solid two, like if you're just beginning with piano, I would spend a solid two weeks just going over scales, practicing with the metronome, speeding up the metronome, playing all the notes on the keyboard, starting at all the different notes, and get to be really familiar with scales and numbering your scales, because that'll help you so much. So, awesome. Practice this a bunch, and then you can click on to the next video, and I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.